Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you very much for joining us again. This is a webinar about uh, Dynamic 4, and I will be here to help you with your questions. So please do not hesitate to, to place any questions during the presentation, and we will answer them uh, one by one after the presentation. Traditionally, the, the meeting room has been one of the most important spaces in every company. It has been used as a meeting space, a space where creativity could flow, a nerve center for relationships, not only with customers, but with suppliers, with workers, with shareholders, and also a place for strategic decision making and a valuable mean to communicate the corporate values. But the outbreak of COVID-19 forced many of us to work from home, and many meeting rooms have not been used for 12 months. The pandemic brought a brutal acceleration in the use of video conferencing technologies and extra success as well in redefining the use of the office space. We didn't know this when we presented uh, our Dynamic 4 last year, last year at ISC. And today we believe that this is an excellent tool for hybrid meeting spaces. The Dynamic 4, as you will find out today, is a unique, meeting, a unique Windows based meeting point that provides security, flexibility, video and audio quality, and also space optimization. So we are looking forward to presenting it to you. And I'm passing the word to Henry Holm. Thank you so much, Monse, and uh, welcome back to all of you. Uh, this is the fifth uh, webinar of 2021 uh, here at uh, Holm, and I will uh, be uh, presenting you the Dynamic 4. Uh, my name is Henrik Holm, I'm the CEO of uh, Holm, and as Monse said, we will uh, be taking questions during the presentation, uh, and we will answer them after the presentation. Furthermore, uh, this is a, a webinar that is being recorded and it will be distributed and available after if you want to use it for your own purpose or you want to ship it or send it was to be to some of your colleagues or uh, potential clients for this product so uh, as uh, we are on a, a tight schedule everyone let's get uh, let's get started with the presentation um first of all uh, let's let's get into what is uh, the d uh, what what is the d4 uh, Dynamic 4, as Monza said, was launched at ISC in 2020. Here I'm showing a short video just to give you an idea about what we were showing in 2020 at the uh, ISC. In general, uh, as Monza said, it's a Windows-based uh, communication uh, point uh, center where you have all included uh, what you need for uh, a presentation, uh, for a video call, uh, or for the daily meetings uh, where you need to have uh, a presentation done uh, using uh, up to, in this case, up to four screens. Um, as everything has changed uh, due to the, third, uh, to the, the current uh, virus, uh, um, we are forced to look into uh, redesigning our office spaces. Um, we have already changed uh, how we work. As, as Monsa said, a lot of people are working from home. Um, and uh, there are new requirements to uh, distances between people. Uh, it's not all of us that is in the office at the same time. Here at Arto Holland, we are working in shift. We are divided into groups. So in the case if somebody should be contaminated, uh, they are not in uh, touch with other ones. So there's a lot of things going on on this sense. So now you've seen a small video of, uh, of the product. And uh, let's get into uh, the reason why we have done uh, this type of product to start with. First of all, uh, we strongly believe that the closer we are to the human interface, meaning the way we communicate in a normal sense, the closer we are to our goals. Um, and to explain that uh, a bit deeper, um, you know, we will not go up to somebody and start talking to them uh, to their neck. If somebody does that, it's, it's pretty spooky. Um, so uh, when, when we are doing a presentation, uh, we need to face each other uh, as we will do to somebody who wants to, to, to start a conversation with. Uh, as it's not only the voice, but it's also our expression and this that is important. I know that this is something we talk about a lot when we are presenting the Arthur Holland product. And um, it's something that becomes more and more important. Uh, studies have shown that um, due to so many VC calls, uh, uh, 
we, we, we start uh, having problems uh, when we are using these kind of uh, products because we adapt to them. So we are, we are moving away from how human normally interact and communicate. And as I said, uh, the voice, the tone in our voice, our facial expression and our body language is extremely important. It says much more than just the words themselves. So at one point before the coronavirus, we were close to everything was perfect. We had a table, we were all sitting, discussing, we were facing each other. But um, then what happens? Um, we, we came into the virus, uh, we needed to use much more VC calls. Um, some of the problems that we are facing today, beside looking at each other, is the background noise, it's, uh, it's, it's the framing, it's the video framing. Uh, we are analyzing um, how we are communicating, uh, the room acoustic, uh, all the hard surfaces and all the other, let's say, hard elements uh, that is influencing uh, a meeting or a meeting room when we are talking. So, and you see the problem here, everybody is attending one person on the screen and they are not looking at each other. If somebody in the room start looking at each other, it's a strange reaction because the person who's talking and the ones that they're trying to have eye contact with, the one on the screen, will start noticing, okay, these guys are looking away from me, what's going on? Where compared to uh, when you're sitting in a, in a table and we're all facing each other, and if somebody is, is, uh, is talking and we're looking at him, it's not a problem looking at the person sitting beside you, it would be a normal re reaction. Uh, but turning around 180 degrees, uh, that's a different thing. So very simple, just to understand, to have speech integrability, uh, we need to look at each other. So if we look at how our ears polar pattern is, um, you know, we are picking up in front of us. Of course, we can also hear what's going on in the back, but it's not loud and clear, and especially not in the speech area. And the sound, as sound moves around, one thing for sure is that our eyes don't move around. Our eyes are, are fixed. We are not, uh, we don't have the capability of looking what is going on uh, behind us. And how did we come to this point where everybody is facing one direction? Uh, the typical setup with a big screen by the end of the table, a couple of speakers and a video camera. But this is extremely far away from how human behaves. Um, we all know that uh, humans are, are created to be with other humans. We are not created to walk off on our own and not talk to anybody. Communication between people is the most important thing. If we look at lifetime expectancy, a lot of people will think that exercise, good food, not smoking, not drinking, is, is the route to uh, creating a long life. But actually, the most important thing to have a long lifetime expectancy is to have a conversation with somebody every day. It doesn't have to be a deep conversation. It can be that you go down and you pick up your bread, your vegetables. Um, this is the most important thing. So in communication, um, it's it's the present that is important. So talking a bit about uh, uh, how it is today and what we are trying to do with our new product, let's take a look at the meeting uh, room or the meetings of the future. Um, we need the flexibility, we need the space. So we're looking into hybrid because we need to combine working from home with people in the office. Again, we will not, it will not disappear that we're working from home, but we'll try to combine it with working at the office. And it is important that we have the same tools available to enhance communication. So the physical presence uh, within the company will be downscaled, but the numbers of participants in the meetings will continue being the same. That means that we have to reach the same audience, but just from different locations. So uh, some of the important, the important parts beside that, uh, that we are not created to be alone is that uh, we need to keep focused on what is going on. That we need to avoid uh, distractions when we're in a meeting, but also in work in general. And today with everything that is available by a touch on our phone, uh, it's so complicated to control unless we are good at switching everything off when we go to work and just focusing on, focusing on work itself. 
So a big question is nowadays is like, why should I go to the office when I can work from home? Well, uh, there are some different questions that is related to this as well. Um, 20 years ago, uh, getting from A to B uh, was the main thing, but it's not the question that we have today. Today, everybody can get one way or the other from A to B. And with the resources that is available, uh, some, you know, it's not just about having a car, but it's a matter of how you have chosen. What is your signaling to getting from A to B? Are you doing it in a, let's say, environmental correct way? Uh, are you driving your favorite car? You're taking the bus? What have you chosen? And again, uh, when we are talking about why should I get into the office? Uh, why shouldn't I stay at home? But the same with coffee. Coffee is available in all companies, more or less. It's not about are you serving coffee? Should I get in or should we go to a coffee bar? No. If the question is how good is the coffee? So this is reflecting on why should I get into the office? What is it the office bring that I can, can't do from home? So the experience when you get into the office uh, and the reason to go into the office have to exceed the hassle of getting from home to the office. That meaning that there has to be something extra. There has to be an effect. And that is why the coffee is important. Uh, that is why the layout of the office, your colleagues, the possibilities within the office is important. And also the tools that you're working with. If your internet connection is better from home, why should I go to the office? That's worth and so on. That means that to be to have comfortable employees, for the employees to have all the right tools, uh, we also have to give them uh, the possibility of communicating in the best way uh, possible. So the whole idea before the coronavirus was that when you're looking at how you design office, 70% 70, 70 of the employees will be within the office. Some will be traveling, some will have the days off and so on. Post COVID, we are looking at the numbers at 30 to 40%, meaning that we are downscaling a lot. But again, we also need more space because we need to have a safe distance and we have to have the co an environment that people feel, or the employees feel comfortable in. So we need flexibility and elasticity within uh, the work in my, in off, uh, environment, that meaning within the office. So we have all experienced uh, video calls where the audio is bad, where the video is bad, when presenting uh, presentation, material, documentation, it's really bad. And uh, therefore, we see a lot of people have come to the market uh, over the last year, a lot of companies with a lot of great solutions. But in the future, uh, they will uh, we'll start selecting and there'll be some more preferred one than other ones, the one that works the best. But to work with the platforms, if they are online or however, you also need to have the right hardware. The right hardware is for audio, is for video. And uh, of course, the communication, the bandwidth is extremely important. Just a quick look at the security and bring your own device. We talked about distractions. Uh, I don't know how many of you managed to switch off all the, uh, the apps on your phone that you, you don't need for work when you go in, but you're still getting the delivery message from people bringing you the vegetables or Amazon or who else is, is continuing. You're getting a lot of things that is a distraction at work, a normal work day, but it's even a bigger distraction when you are in a meeting or you're doing a presentation. So uh, when I do these webinars, I always make sure that I switch off my email and this, so we're not getting those in and they are uh, they can be heard during the presentation. But the biggest um, the biggest problem is all the fantastic apps that we have. They are they are taking our concentration away, especially uh, doing when it happens during meetings. But at the same time, um, the apps uh, that we see are becoming more and more important, also in our uh, in our professional work environment. So there's a way we have to look into how to control that. The app that uh, that we are saying that we cannot avoid when we're also looking at the professionals are the apps that are controlling our, our, our products, our room controls and so on are going more and more in the direction of apps. Why? Because you don't have to install a display on the wall, for example. So that was a bit about what is going to happen with the, in the future in, 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 the, in the meeting room, a bit about what is happening right now. 
the different software, the different platforms that can be used to communicate to GVC call. So what is the, the Dynamic 4 and what is it we have created and, and how have we created it? So the Dynamic 4 is an all-in-one window-based communication solution. We have four screens, we have uh, four uh, cameras built in, we have two uh, microphone arrays built in, one on each side. We have uh, two uh, three-inch speakers, omnidirectional, with a diffuser on top, built into uh, the unit. We have uh, one on each side. We have a CPU built in, we have a matrix, we have uh, an amplifier built in. Uh, the screen uh, themselves are 17 inches, uh, full HD screens. People are saying that, oh, 17 inches is not that big. But when we take it into this configuration that we have in the center of the table, when we look at what I talked about before, the part that are important in communication, such as eye contact, the body language, if we get larger displays, we start uh, hiding people behind it, behind the displays. And that means that we are losing out on body language uh, and facial expression and so on. And therefore, we are sticking to 17 inches. And working with a dynamic four, uh, if you first have done it once, it's a bit like a drug. You don't want to do meetings and presentation without it. It works that well in 17 inches. The monitor itself is a bit known like uh, how Arthur Hunt built their monitors. The material, material is aluminium, glass, steel, and stainless steel. Uh, so it's a well-known quality from uh, Arthur Holm. The microphones. The microphones that we have are designed uh, to sit on top of the loudspeakers. And uh, we have two arrays in both sides. And each array consists of three omnidirectional uh, microphone capsules with a sensitivity of 94 dB. And then we, of course, have the processing taking place uh, behind that. The speakers itself, there are two speakers, uh, they are facing upwards, and uh, to make sure that we don't pollute the room uh, and we get uh, the audio for the users sitting around the table, around the DB4, uh, we have put an acoustical cone on top, a diffuser, to, make, to guide the, the sound in the right direction. Again, when we talk about sound, sound direction, uh, remember looking at the people before, looking at the screen, uh, yeah, if the guy doing the presentation on the screen is talking the sound direction is correct but as soon as somebody within uh, the, the, the meetings start talking to each other there um, and there's, uh, there's uh, and they're communicating that or they're shooting that or sending that transmitting that um, then we start uh, playing around with the sound direction so with the speakers we are aiming at having a flat uh, frequency response especially in the speech uh, frequencies to make sure that we have speech in integrability. Um, again, here with the speakers built into the unit where everybody is uh, facing, we, we have a low sound pressure level. And again, we avoid this way of having uh, the polluting the room if we're in an open office environment, as uh, we need very little uh, level. We also have an amplifier built in. It's a two channel, uh, 41 watt. It has a DSP integrated to um, adapt the audio uh, to the type of speakers and how they are placed. It's not for uh, the user uh, to, uh, to uh, use the DSP for the room acoustic or the equalizations and so on. Uh, we also have a limiter uh, to avoid any distortion. And we have a USB interface uh, on the amplifier where we are connecting uh, our speakers, our microphones and so on. Then we have the four uh, cameras, one camera on top of each uh, display. They are five mega, uh, megapixel uh, cameras, and um, they are used to US, USB 2 uh, connection. Um, what we do is we take the four different cameras and we stick, stick together uh, the image. So you get uh, on your screen uh, a square, with four uh, images, uh, uh, which is based uh, for uh, taking from the cameras, and it looks like uh, it looks like this when you are using it uh, for a meeting. Then we have some other features on our products. We have uh, two small towers, one in each side that can pop up. Here you can connect uh, a standard. You have four USB connectors. There can be uh, dividers if you want some of them to be powerful for charging, or if you want them to connect to the integrated uh, PC, 
uh, for presentation, for bringing in material this, you can do that, or you can have it for charging. You can also have a USB uh, connector there, USB-C, uh, where you can connect it uh, internally for uh, connecting it to, um, to the CPU for presentation as well. Besides that, we have uh, a standard two HDMI cables, one on each side of the displays, that when you walk into the room, you connect your laptop, and uh, with the controls, you activate uh, one of the four inputs that you want to select. So a bit of uh, the flow diagram of what we have inside of the unit. We have four display, four cameras, we have four speakers, and we have four uh, microphone arrays. Then we have our uh, processor, where we are processing uh, all uh, the different components that we have. We have our amplifier, and finally, we have our computer or PC uh, integrated. Uh, the multimedia processor is uh, designed by us and is to mix all the different signals that we're getting in and adapting also to the acoustics so we get the right acoustics for, for this product. Installation-wise, uh, we have two types of uh, connectivity. As we say, we have the connectivity on a daily base which everything takes place on top of the table beside the, the display. For the installation part, uh, we have that underneath the table. Here we have uh, one HDMI connector, which can be used for a wireless interface if you want to use that for uh, as an option uh, for connecting to the DB4 or the D4. You also have a network connection uh, to uh, connect to your network. You have a USB connection, you have power, and you also have an HDMI output. So why do you want to have an HDMI output? You want to have that if you want to transmit what is taking place in the in the, the, the dynamic form. If you want to transmit or transfer that to somewhere else, maybe a larger display in a different room, or if you want to send the signal to somewhere. On top, beside of the speakers in both sides, we have uh, the mechanical control of the unit. You can take it up and down. You can change the shape of it. You have it from a a square to a diamond shape, you can turn it around and you can memorize your favorite position as well as an option. So these are the physical interface for the mechanical part. On the other side, you have input select. So you have three different inputs. You have the two on top, you have the one below. The one below could also be, a, be connected via the small pop-up tower that you have. So it could be USB-C, it could be USB, it could also be a, a HDMI socket or display port. And then you can select the integrated PC. So the integrated PC come with Windows already installed. And the idea is that you connect to your server or you download your favorite uh, communication platform or the program that, uh, that you need. So the control, as I said, uh, we have the physical control on top of the product, but we also have the AH link. The AH link is uh, based on an app both for Android and uh, on OS, and uh, it gives you access to the product where you can raise it up and you can turn it around and you can do your different settings. Again, as talked about, apps become a bigger, bigger part of the professional uh, AV industry as well. You can select uh, how you want to do it, and uh, there'll be some more features coming with this uh, where you also can select inputs and so on. If we look at how we install the product. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Um, since it's a bigger product, since it's a product that is uh, heavier uh, than our normal products that we lift up and we insert into the cutout in the table, we have actually done it the other way around. So in large table, you add the product from above, but in smaller tables here, uh, when we talk about the, the Dynamic 4, we talk about reading from four to eight people, for example. So the table is fairly small. So in this time, in this case, we place the, the, the D4 in the center of where we want to have the table. We place the table on top of the product. We have the possibility of adjusting it uh, by using a, a drill. Um, so you raise it up to the level of the table, and then finally you place the cover plate with the connectors and the interface on top. So this is designed in this way to avoid and to, to make the installation easier and straightforward. So that was a short presentation of uh, the D, uh, 
core or the dynamic force we call it. It's a one all-in-one uh, solution for meeting points, uh, what we normally earlier are still calling bottle rooms. Let's uh, connect to Monza and see if uh, there's any questions uh, come in. Thank you so much for listening. Yes, thank you so much, Henrik. We have received um, quite a lot of questions. So let's start with the first one. The question is, can you select the camera input or two camera inputs? Uh, it's something that we are working on. Currently, the software do not allow it. But the idea is that you can select if you want to have uh, one or if you want to have two or, or three cameras activated at the time and only have them uh, up or for seven the person talking. Yeah, thank you. And another question is, is the system Zoom certified? No, it hasn't. It hasn't been certified by Zoom or the other platforms. Um, we haven't taken the decision to do so, but we have tested it and we will recommend what the system it works with. But as it's Windows based, we haven't found any limitations in that. Okay, and the next question is, how is the unit uh, powered? Do you use one power supply for all of them? It is one It is one power supply. We have a power distribution uh, within the unit itself. So it's in reality, it's two connectors. It's, the, it's to connect it to your network, it's uh, the power, and the, there is a, it comes with a wireless keyboard and mouse, so you can control it, you can start it up. I know if you have installed already the Zoom uh, room, and you have everything up running, then by just activating the unit, you will get that. But there is, a, there is the um, keyboard and mouse available that it, that it comes with to activate it and, and run it. And you can also get it with a touch screen if you want that. Thank you, Henrik. And the four cameras on each display, are they connected or independent to the PC? No, everything is connected to the PC. Everything is connected internally and everything is USB based. So. Um, if there is the requirement that say we want to use some other types of speakers or microphones or we want to take one of the signals away, as long as it's USB based, you can do that. Okay, and will this work with a Minimac? Uh, it will also uh, work with a Minimac, yes. Okay, and another question. Is it easy to block off and changing monitors if one monitor is broken? Um, I will not say it's easy. Uh, there will be spare part and there will be service available. Uh, we are looking into how we can give the best service on this. Uh, one of the experience we have from all the years of, uh, of designing these products, uh, this is a bit different. It's going to be a standard product. Uh, there are going to be some accessories you can select, but it is a standard product. Uh, that a panel breaks down and it uh, stops working, uh, then the, the, if that happens within the warranty period, the first uh, 30 days, I think it is, uh, from uh, the, the start, uh, then we will replace the, the whole unit and we will uh, all go on site and change the panel itself. But it's uh, very rare that we have a panel that uh, that breaks down like that. Um, we do burn in all our products. Having said that, uh, we have a standard of uh, two years warranty on this product and five years for the mechanical part. Okay, excellent. And another question is if it's possible to veneer. Is veneer matching possible? At, at the moment, uh, we, it's not possible to veneer it. Uh, I know it's a request we're getting a lot of times, but what we're going to offer instead is that we're going to offer the cover plate uh, that it can be painted to uh, have the same finishing as the table. But at the moment, we don't have a veneered version. Okay, and do you have a price, list price for the product? It is, uh, there is a list price available, uh, and uh, we have the price for the unit, as it has been shown here. I'm not going to relieve it here, and the reason for this is that we prefer that uh, you contact us because it depends on the region where you are in the world uh, for the price. We sell it to all of our clients at the same price, but it depends on export taxes, transport costs, and so forward. So therefore, we have taken the, the policy of not giving prices uh, during our webinars. Sorry about that. Perfect. And how many IP do this unit need? And is it possible to connect it to Wi-Fi? Uh, I didn't get the first part of your question. Could you repeat? Yes. How many IP do this unit need? Yeah, uh, the unit is running on, uh, on on one IP. You have the, or, or let's say on two. You have one for the control, 
and um, and you have another one for the the PC, but in general, the one is what you need. Yeah, you have the IS four two two to where you can also control the unit. Okay, perfect, excellent. And what is the size of the display? Seventeen inches, right? Yeah, the display is seventeen inches. Uh, we have, of course, when we started this product, we looked at seventeen inches, and we were thinking, oh, should we go and make it twenty-two? But we have to be careful that we don't take the most important thing away in communication, besides uh, the voice, and that would be the visibility to the other people within the meeting. Perfect. And uh, this question is about the look of the product. Is the standard finish as shown, or is it black? And are there other color options? Currently, uh, there are two options, and one is black, and another one is uh, the, the aluminium color. Okay, and the speaker is the same as the dynamic speaker because it seems that the power rating is different. It's not the same. Uh, one is uh, the one we have in the dynamic speaker. Uh, it has a bigger diameter, and this is uh, and it's a it's a two way. In the in this version here, it's a, a one way, and it's a three inch speaker. So uh, it's different. Perfect. And is it possible to set it up as a Microsoft Teams room system? Yeah, yes, it is. It has the micro. It has the Windows platform. So yes, it is. Yeah. And what will be the delivery after order placement? Yeah, we, uh, the, we, you know, as, as you said a bit about the coronavirus and everything that happened. So we are we are looking at uh, end of June, two thousand and twenty-one. Perfect. And the processor is it i3 or i5? Is this an option available to the customer when ordering? It is an option that is uh, is available. Uh, if you don't need i5, i3, and i3 will do uh, physically uh, within the unit. It has to take up the same space. Uh, but we know from uh, people that are using Zoom Room that uh, they need a minimum of an i5 uh, uh, with 16 uh, RAM, uh, gig RAM to to run it. Okay, and can you use a company display such as a well-mounted touch-enabled display or a presentation display? Um, if you want to do a, a presentation display beside it, it, it has to come out uh, with a USB uh, connection, so like a mouse or something that, uh, that that you can show. Unless you just want to connect a another display as a laptop, then you can do it. Yeah. Okay, and does the choice of processor impact the price? It does, yeah. There's a price difference. That would mean that's the normal price difference between uh, i3 and i5. Okay, perfect. And I have a last question here. What is the mechanism that controls the monitors going into and out of the table? What is the mechanism that controls it goes out? It's based on our, uh, uh, the, what is controlling it is our Atohan uh, controller board that is used in all our motorized uh, products. Um, it, it's it's very similar, uh, the mechanical part to uh, to the monitors that we've been uh, doing for the last 12 years. So it's a very well proven uh, system, uh, mechanical system. Perfect. And does black cost more than the standard uh, aluminium color? No, it's the same price. Perfect. So I guess th this is all. I don't have more questions for now. So okay. thank you. Yeah, no, thank you, Monza, and for all of you out there, thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions uh, beside this, you're welcome to contact us. Um, yeah, the same for if you want a copy of the, this recording, that one is available as well of this webinar. Um, and uh, we hope that you are as excited as we are with the, with the Dynamic 4. Um, we're using it in-house, and uh, we are close to the, to be impossible for us to have a meeting if, if we don't have... Uh, this dynamic for available. So thank you all very much. Take care and uh, stay safe. I hope to see you soon somewhere around the world. Take care. And thank, thank you very you. much. Bye bye.